In our previous lesson, nakita natin kung ano ang moment of mass at center of mass. Pero so far, pertaining pa lang sa one dimension. Kaya in-apply natin sa non-homogeneous rods na pwedeng model for objects na nagbabago ang thickness and type of material. Ngayon, i-apply natin yung idea ng moment at center of mass sa two dimensions. So imagine dito, meron tayong massless na rigid surface. Tapos maglalagay tayo ng tatlong masses sa kanya na 8 kg, 3 kg at 2 kg respectively. Ngayon, tignan natin yung system natin galing sa taas at i-represent natin yung spheres as point masses sa Cartesian plane. Dahil two dimensions na tayo, we'll consider the moment of mass with respect to the x-axis and the moment of mass with respect to the y-axis. Let's start with capital M sub x, yung moment of mass with respect to the x-axis. This is equal to the sum of all moments of mass with respect sa x-axis. So, isulat natin na summation of all M sub i times d sub i, where d sub i is the signed distance of the point mass from the x-axis. Signed meaning positive pag above the x-axis, negative pag sa baba. Pero ano ba yung value na yun? Diba, ito lang din yung y-coordinate. So, palitan natin si d sub i with y sub i sa formula natin. Applying the formula sa given system natin, meron tayong moment of mass with respect to the x-axis na equal sa 8 times 2 plus 3 times negative 1 plus 2 times 1 or 15. Kung meters yung unit ng distance, edi 15 kilogram meters yung meron tayo. Ang moment of mass naman ng system natin with respect sa y-axis ay similar yung computation. Sum naman siya ng individual moments of mass with respect sa y-axis. Similarly, ang distance from the y-axis ay ibibigay ng x-coordinate ng mass. So para sa example natin, ang moment of mass of the system with respect to the y-axis ay 8 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus 2 times negative 3 or babalik tayong 8. Ang center of mass na tatawagin din nating centroid dahil nasa two dimensions tayo ay point sa Cartesian plane. So yung x-coordinate niya na x-bar ay equal sa capital M sub y over the total mass. Bakit capital M sub y? Kasi M, capital M sub y, yung moment of mass with respect sa y-axis, so yung distance sa kanya ay measured along x. So yung magiging center of mass natin along x ay yung galing dun sa moment of mass with respect sa y-axis. So yung y-coordinate naman yan na y-bar ay equal sa capital M sub x over the total mass. So sa example natin, ang total mass ng system ay 8 plus 3 plus 2 or 13 kilograms. So ang x-coordinate ni center of mass ay 8 over 13 at ang y-coordinate ay 15 over 13 which is marked by this point. So imagine kung ipapatong natin yung system natin on one point lang, dyan siya sa center of mass natin ilalagay para maging perfectly balanced. Or kung magkakabit tayo ng hook at isasabit natin sa kisame yung ating system, hindi mauhulog yung mga balls kasi perfectly balanced sila pag pinix natin yung center of mass. Now, instead of looking at point masses, let's consider yung center of mass ng isang region. So, let's say na may dalawa tayong functions, f of x at g of x, na along with x equals a at x equals b ay boundaries ng isang region. Let's assume na itong region ay gawa sa isang manipis na rigid na material na may constant density. So, another term for such a material, yung manipes pero rigid, ay lamina. So, if I'm not mistaken, yung lamina, it means a sheet. So, parang yung laminar flow hood or yung lamination, yung paglalaminate natin ng mga cards. Ang objective natin dito ay hanapin 
yung center of mass ng laminar region na ito. Simulan natin sa total mass niya. Assuming na constant density yung material nung area, total mass M is equal to density times area. And area is the definite integral from A to B of the upper function minus the lower function. Next ay hanapin natin yung moments of mass ng lamina with respect to both axes. Simulan natin by partitioning the interval AB into n equal subintervals, each na may width na delta x, at evaluated sa x sub i na nasa gitna nung ith interval. So we're choosing yung midpoint nung bawat interval para i-evaluate yung kung saan tumatama yung rectangle sa taas at sa baba, or f of x sub i and g of x sub i. Ang mass nitong rectangular unit of area natin ay density times yung area niya, area ng rectangle. So density times the upper function minus the lower function, ito yung height, times the base given by delta x. Next, yung center of mass nitong rectangular unit of area, dahil constant yung density natin, by symmetry yung center of mass niya ay yung point na nasa gitna ng rectangle or x bar sub i, yung x coordinate nung center of mass itong rectangle na to, ay equal siya sa x sub i, yung gitna na x value nung sub interval. At si y bar sub i, yung y coordinate nung center of mass, ay yung gitna ni f of x sub i at ni g of x sub i, given by the average of the two values. Ang moment of m sub i with respect to the x-axis will be given by the mass of the rectangle times distance or m sub i times y sub i. Substituting yung nakuha nating expression kanina, we have the moment of m sub i with respect sa x-axis to be rho times upper function minus lower function times delta x times the average of f and g evaluated at x sub i. Ang moment of m sub i naman, with respect sa y-axis, capital M sub i sub y, equals m sub i times x sub i. Replacing again si m sub i, we have this to be equal to rho times the quantity, upper function minus lower function, times delta x, so that's the mass, times x sub i. Hanapin na natin yung mga moment of mass ng system starting with capital M sub x. Ito na yung sa buong system, no? This is equal to the sum ng lahat ng moments of masses ng mga rectangular units of area natin. Pero para maging accurate yung approximation, we will let n approach infinity. Pag may kasamang konting manipulation, makikita natin na equal ito sa rho times the definite integral from A to B of upper minus lower function times the average of the upper and lower functions times dx. Well, dahil pala integral ito, wala na dapat yung mga sub i dun sa kanina. Si m sub y naman ay sum ng lahat ng moments of mass with respect to y. So again, para exact, we let n approach infinity. Again, we rearrange our factors. So equal siya sa rho times the definite integral from A to B ni x times upper minus lower function times dx. So our center of mass is x bar, which is equal to the moment of mass with respect to the y-axis over total mass m, and y bar, which is equal to the moment of mass with respect to the x-axis over the total mass m. So that's it for this lesson, yung pag-derive natin ng formulas natin. In our next video, we will solve some examples. So, and so for now, salamat sa pakikinig.